these are good poems. Monica! Hi, Wolfcorp. Have you thought about what you wanted to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people, I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. Da da da. <laughs> it's kind of funny. How so? No, not the poem. I mean, it's funny how your poems and Sayori's poems have been getting more and more similar to each other every day. I'm surprised you're so in sync with her. Then again, you've been spending a lot of time together lately, haven't you? And I guess you could say, ah, I guess you could say that. Although we kind of grew up as best friends, I haven't been seeing as much of her this past year. But since I joined the club, we've been spending a lot of time together again. I see, I see. That reminds me about how Sayori's been a little bit off today. Yeah, did she tell you something? Uh, well, Wolfgore, you haven't been flirting with her, have you? Uh, uh maybe a little? Of course not. I've been treating her like I always do. All right, just making sure. I know how much you care about her. It would be terrible if something bad happened to her, so keep an eye on her. Sayori's been acting so much happier ever since you joined the club. What could have happened all of a sudden? Da da da. Well, never mind. This really isn't the time to be talking about this. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, all right? Er, all right. The Lady Who Knows Everything. An old tale tell, tells of a lady who wandered er, wanders earth. <laughs> An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather. Lost adrift, the sky, victim of the current of the wind. Day after day I search. I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remi remains. The last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky. Until one day, the wind ceases to blow, I fall, and I fall, and fall, and fall evermore. Gentle as a feather, a dry quill, expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend, your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. Damn! Okay. You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sorts of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of my mind, so that's what I wrote about. Kind of on my mind. I see. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, who would? Who, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you'd know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Uh, yeah, that. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It could be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way, and it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little liter literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for the day. Thanks for listening. No, she's so cute. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out... Hold on a second. Is it just me, or did you say something strange just now? Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. 
Jeez, why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh, <laughs> stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Ah, it seems you're right. Sigh. Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to, anyways? I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on. Uh, ah, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously. Of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no? First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Oh, that curious expression coming from Mayori, Yuri of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations. So let's decide what everybody, everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right, Natsuki will be making cupcakes but we might need a lot of them in different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sayori, Sayori will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri, dot dot dot. Yuri, you can, uh, um, dot dot dot. Guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I, I'm useless. No, no, that's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. Dot, dot, dot. N not, Natsuki's pouting too. Jeez, even I can tell now. But I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit. But I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Ah, that may be the case. But if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So Yuri. You have beautiful handwriting, you know. So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that. I... I love atmosphere. <laughs> Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Wolfgore. The one who is truly useless. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would be really appreciative of that. Uh, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give you, give to you. It's not like... M dirty work. Hmm. It's not like Monica is going to give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Wolfgore may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyways? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Wolfgore to, Wh what are you saying? It would be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys, let's settle down for a bit. In the end, I think it's up to Wolfgore to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know. <laughs> so I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said... <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised as well. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> I was just saying, though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Wolfcore, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. <laughs> Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I mean, I 
guess we could spend time with Sayori. Oh, should we push it? Should we push it? Let me think about this for a second. God, I never know what to do in these situations with women. Um, I feel like Sayori would get upset if we went and saw her. So I think I'm going to bake cupcakes with Natsuki. Because, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't want to make decorations or write pamphlets. And baking kind of sounds like fun. So we're going to do that. Well, baking sounds like it could be fun. And you guys made it sound like a lot of work. So it could probably use two people. Don't worry, baking is a ton of fun. You'll definitely agree. Eh? Just a minute ago you were saying that, that that's because... Da, da, da. Never mind, okay? Well, anyway, you'll be fine by yourself, right, Yuri? Of course. I'm used to it, after all. <laughs> Poor Yuri. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. That's good. Even though Yuri is being melodramatic, it's a little hard to not feel bad. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? So that's everything, right? Anything else we need to talk about? No, I think that's it. Are you guys excited? Yes! Everything except the performance is going to be awesome. I don't think that really counts. What about you, Wolfcore? Me? Ah, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Yuri? Yuri? She's still sulking. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Natsuki starts pouting too. Oh, look what I've done. I'm a terrible person. It's not, I mean, it's not that big a deal or anything. Well, it might not be just that. Dot dot dot. I think that Yuri might just be feeling a little underappreciated in general. Having to come up with something for her to do and then nobody offering to help. That doesn't mean... Dot dot dot. Uh, Natsuki glances back and forth between everyone with a worried expression. Look, Natsuki goes over and puts her hands down on Yuri's shoulders. Yuri, you really are the most talented one here. And, and you're going to help make the event a lot more fun and welcoming. I mean, the cupcakes will probably help a lot too, but you're going to make the atmosphere special. That'll be really important for the way that people feel during the performance. So, you need to stop being dumb and give yourself a little more credit. Natsuki releases her hands and turns around to face the other direction. Dot dot dot. You didn't really mean that, did you? Um, n not really, but Yuri isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I also are also taken aback by Natsuki's words. Natsuki of all people to be saying such encouraging things. But I begin to understand. Natsuki was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. I'm sorry for being dumb. I'm going to do my best. And all of us are going to make it really great. Event. Yeah. Yeah. I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Okay, but I'm staying here a bit longer. I barely got to do any reading today, so fair enough, there's nothing wrong with that. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Yuri out the door as they chat between each other. Um, where are you going? Eh? We need, we still need to figure out our plans for this weekend. You literally would have gotten home and realized that you didn't even have a way to contact me. Oh, that's true. I have no idea how that slipped my mind. Jeez, good thing I stopped you. I'm giving you my number, okay? Nice! You'd better not make it weird or anything. Why would I do that? Hmph! Natsuki gives me her number. Okay, I'm coming over on Sunday. I'll bring all the ingredients. Wait, you're coming to my house? Well, yeah, what's wrong with that? I mean, I just figured that since I'm the one helping, I would go to your house. Yeah, right. Like I could have a guy over at my house? My dad would kill me. Really? That kinda strict if you at That's kinda strict if you ask me. Yeah, how do you think I feel? I can't do anything when my dad is home. Anyway, I just need to complain for a second. We have each other's numbers now. That's all I needed from you. I guess I'll text you when I'm coming over. Alright, fine by me. Yeah. I'm really gonna show you why I love baking so much. So you'd better look forward to it. Oh? 
Didn't you say you were just going to give me the dirty work? Well, I was just saying that. It's not like I could act like it in front of... Wait, ugh. It's not like I could act like in front of everyone that I was looking forward to this. Wait, really? Well, kind of. Just because I never got to bake with someone else before, that's all it is. So, all right, I get it. Sorry for overreacting. Anyway, I'll be heading out now. See you on Sunday. Ah, dot, dot, dot. Never mind. I can't believe this. Natsuki is going to be coming to my house on Sunday. My anxiety shoots through the roof, even though I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. There's no telling what might end up happening when we're outside of school. More than that, she told me that she was looking forward to it. Is this the chance I have, I have to make something happen between us? Or is it too early for that? Only time will tell. But until then, I won't be able to take my mind off it. I seriously can't wait. Hmm. It's already Sunday. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Natsuki's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. I wonder if she'll act any different when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, she's been texting me a lot. Nice. We sent each other one after exchanging numbers to double check, but it turned into conversation. She's almost a different person on the phone, using tons of emojis and cute language. She's also really, she also really likes complaining about things, but I kind of saw that one coming. But putting Natsuki aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left the club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? Well, you probably should have visited her on Saturday, dum-dum. I decide... Uh, uh, brain aneurysm. I decided to visit Sayori's Sayori before Natsuki comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her, I'm coming over, much mm -hmm. like what we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering myself. Again, we used to play so often that we've made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. Yeah, it feels weird without the music. It's too quiet. I don't like it. The house is quiet. Too quiet. Siori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom, where I finally find her. Sayori? Hi, Wolfgore. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Uh, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sayori's room is as messy as it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she had for years now. <laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Natsuki today? Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? Sayori had already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival pre preparations, right? Ah, uh, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course! But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, uh, so it's just me and Natsuki then. Yep. There's more silence between us. Sayori stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, when something was something when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, Sayori smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Wolfgore. Eh? Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have been thinking about me right now, but this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> Sayori? I grab Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? 
I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Ah. <laughs> Sayori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Wolfgore. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Wolfgore? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had a really bad depression my whole life. Do you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. Oh, what reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just wanted to make everyone happy. Without everyone worrying about me. Dot dot dot. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? Did she really want so badly for me to just think about just not think about her? Why, Sayori? Eh? Why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I can do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little bit better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Wolfgore. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. Ah! <laughs> That's why... That was supposed to be a laugh, not an ah noise, but you know, whatever. That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club, it feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why, that's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right, that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori, but I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Wolfcore, there's nothing, nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streaked down Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish, and I was punished by my heart. Punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept this, these punishments because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grab Sayori's shoulders. This time, I pull her into a tight embrace. Oh, Sayori. Ah. Wolfgore? Sayori, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I would have it, I wouldn't have it any other way. Wolfcore, Sayori isn't hugging me back, despite my arms being wrapped around her. Sayori's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No, don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Wolfcore, I... Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in your... If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sayori finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Wolfgore. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary, too. Sayori lets me go. As she does so, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's gonna be fun, right? Yeah. 
how would you like for me to spend it all with you? Um, uh, it's what I want. I promise. I, I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Sayori wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this had to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you do that, then I really won't forgive you. But it's almost time for Natsuki to meet at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Sayori shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. I look forward to it. Well, that was certainly dark, but I guess talking about your pain and depression is important to the process of recovering and getting over it, so I'm glad that she shared with us. I really wasn't expecting that, though. It was quite deep. This game, this game is not what I'm expecting it to be, and I'm sure there are more confusing twists and turns around the corner, and no doubt they will come from Natsuki next as we bake cupcakes together next time. But guys, that's where we're gonna call this one for today. I love your faces, Beardheart. Like the video if you enjoyed it, please do. It helps the channel grow. Leave me comments because I love your comments, and uh, subscribe here if you're new. I would love to have you join our awesome little family. And I'll see you guys next time with more Doki Doki Literature Club.